November. So that means in America that it is election season. Five ways to survive election season in the States, if you don't know. Number one, most important one, if you are not into politics, stay out of them. I think I have over 3,000 videos on the internet and I think four are about politics and I'm not picking nobody's side. You can't even tell me what I represent or stood for. If you are not political, if you're not into politics, if you don't got a lot of time to debate both sides, if you don't got a time to prove your point, if you don't got a lot of time to try to convert somebody that don't want to be converted, stay out of politics. It's the safest place to be. It's the safest thing to do. If you have a political affiliation, you can keep that to yourself. And if you want to put that out there, just be advised that it's going to come back in a way that you may not be prepared for it. If you are not a political person, stay out of them. Number two, try not to judge your friend off their political views too hard. Throughout the year, nothing brings Americans together like sports. Your best friend, y'all are pals. Y'all share experiences. Y'all share money. If y'all into that kind of stuff, y'all share each other wives and stuff like that. I ain't judging nobody. But when it comes to politics, people separate. People get in arguments. People beef. People stop speaking because people feel like they don't know who the other person is just because they don't agree on something like politics. Remember who your friend is. Remember who your friend was before this. Remember who would be there before you after this. These, these things happen. These elections happen. And remember who you are. Do not let the election season and politics change who you are or make you an ugly person. Two things are for sure going to happen. Somebody person is going to win. Somebody person is going to lose. And there is no debating. It's going to happen. But learn how to handle it maturely. Now, I know this is easier said than done because you fight for something. You want something to happen so bad. You won't change. You want things to swing your way. But sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. Cars might be flipped. Flowers might grow. Buildings might burn. Buildings might get built. Money might be made. Money might be lost. And all in all, try to keep your composure, whether you win or you lose. Number four, if you have a political opinion, it's going to be taken out of context. My name is Josh Prey, and I should have put a voting poll on this video, but I guarantee you somebody going to take this video and say, he's being too political. Why is he even talking politics? He needs to shut up and just stick to comedy. Then somebody going to say, Josh, we know you swinging, right? Just go ahead and admit it. It's okay. Somebody going to say, nah, he's a leftist. He's a far left guy, and we know what we love. Somehow, no matter what you say during election season, it's going to be taken out of context. It's going to be taken the wrong way. You don't even mean none of that. But be aware, somebody going to take your words and twist them and screw them up like a Pauly Shore movie. And number five, unless the Lord come back himself, we will have an, another election season. I am 38 years old. I've seen some monumental elections. I've seen some monumental campaigns. Unless the Lord comes back, we gonna see another election. We gonna get a chance to do this again. And I understand it may not be what you want. I understand it may be what you want. I understand you may feel like we're not going to make it, but you're going to make it because you are strong. You are a survivor. You are the Beyonce of your family. No matter who you are, you can do this. Don't let anything defeat you. Don't let nothing dismiss you. Don't let nobody or no political party get you down. You are who you are and you will remain to be who you are. To anybody that's excited about the political season... Y'all crazy as hell, not y'all damn mind. I'm finna go into the bunker I got built before the things start to drop because I don't want no part of any of it. Toodaloo.